Jenny. So we are at the top of the Albin and where they climb inside. It was named after a geophysicist and engineer who pioneered expeditions like this. The Albin has made more than 5,000 dives since its inception in 1964 and helped more than 14,000 scientists and engineers explore the bottom of the ocean floor. This mission is going to usher in a new era of ocean exploration. A deep sea expedition that will bring two scientists and one pilot to some of the deepest depths of the ocean humans have ever gone. Those are actually windows, small windows that we look out of. The dive is supported by the National Science Foundation and NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. UC San Diego's Lisa Levin, a renowned deep sea explorer, will lead the way. It's beautiful. It's full of life. Most people envision the deep sea as a big dark hole, flat and featureless, but it's really heterogeneous. They'll be about four miles down off the coast of Alaska, exploring our deep sea ecosystems and how marine life and microbacteria are adapting, even benefiting from the naturally occurring gas methane seeping from the sea floor. Then also perhaps how we could benefit from capturing it. Methane is coming out of the ground in the deep ocean along our margins, continental margins. Um, and so we're really interested about what keeps it from getting into the atmosphere. And the answer is the microbes and animals at methane seeps. They basically eat the methane, the microbes do, and some, some of the microbes turn that methane into rock. After plummeting into the sea, it'll take two hours to reach the ocean floor and then another two to return to the surface, leaving scientists with about six hours to collect data using the sub's robotic arms. We also need critical minerals, which we know or think that are there. We need them for our cell phones and for our electronic cars. The Alvin's missions have led to thousands of discoveries, including coral reefs and hydrothermal vents. It most notably brought researchers back to the site of the Titanic in 1986. It can hover in the water, maneuver over rugged terrain, or rest on the sea floor. The sub carries enough oxygen to let a three-person crew breathe for three days. Alvin's very small. It's about, I don't know, six or six and a half feet diameter for three people. It's a small sphere. As for the top two questions they say they get, the first being if they get scared and they tell me no, and that's because they really trust their team. The second being if they have to decompress upon their return. I'm also told no, and that's because the atmosphere inside of this sub is the same as on the surface. Wishing them well and can't wait to see what they find. Reporting today from Point Loma, Jenny Day, CBS 8.